Ladies and gentlemen of the press, in addition to the government of Liberia statement released on August 27th, 2020, regarding the incident in small town community, the LDA on August 21, 2024, applied for a self and seizure warrant to the West Point Magisterial Court regarding a property identified in small town community. As a, as a result of this application, the search and seizure warrant was issued on August 21, 2024, and that said warrant was accompanied by two officers of the West Point Magisterial Court who joined the LDA agent on August 22, 2024 to execute the warrant at the intended property in a small town community, common town. We are informed that when the LDA team arrived at the small town community and was making its way to the intended property, the team got violently resisted by suspected community members who pelted stones and at one point fired at the agent. At this point, between 5.30 to 5.45, the agents maneuver and pull out as there were already roadblocks staged along the Benazby route as well as the Tottenham Boulevard in front of the CDC headquarters. As a result of these resistances, two agents of the LDA sustained injuries. And we can show you these pictures. You can see them. They were taken to the JFK Medical Center where they were treated, discharged, uh, but continued to seek daily follow-up treatment with that facility, with which they speedy recovered. Regarding the issue of the warrant, the LDA agent in charge of the operation did submit an application to the West Point Ministerial Court, whose ministerial officers processed the warrant and represented to the agents of the readiness of the warrant, which was accompanied by two officers of said code. The warrant was directed to a particular target in the small town community and not the Congress for Democratic Change. We say this again. The warrant was directed to a particular target in the small town community and not the CDC. The issue of jurisdiction is always raised before the courts. It is a usual legal practice, but yet the writ was not served because of the violent resistance. However, the agency is now doing its after action review to ensure that it doesn't only rely on representation of courts, ministerial officers regarding the processing and issuance of writs uh, as done in this case. And then in other development, on August 21, 2024, the agency arrested an, an, an Ivorian on, in sink on 18th Street uh, who was in possession of kush and heroin amounting to U.S. 100, 117,000. He's been investigated, charged, and sent to court. Since we took over the agency uh, from June to date, we've been able to seize about drug value about 1.5 million U.S. dollars. I think that should be a breaking news to right? So this is the agency efforts to, to, to reduce, uh, to, to contribute to supply reduction by ensuring that the traffickers, dealers, the distributors, the capacity uh, to trade drugs are weakened and diminished. To date, the LD has also secured 13 convictions across the country. We got nine convictions in Lofa, three in River G, and one in Wapolo of drug suspects, those who were arrested and sent to court. So the DEA remains committed to combating drugs, related crimes in affected communities across the country, and call on everyone to join the agency's effort. Thank you. We'll be standing by for your questions subsequently.